Hello, good morning everybody. Hi everybody, welcome to Brow Off Clock. I'm Sarah. And I'm Melinda. And we are the Boo Sisters from Kitchen AM. Oh, like a morning show. Um, oh, my, oh my God. This is the Boo Morning Show. Yeah, mm. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, today... We will be preparing the, um, so I was so about that. Because it's still very early. It is very early. Uh, we'll be preparing a um, breakfast trifle. Mm, mm. Yes. So all we've done is got out of bed and uh, put our bras on. We did put our bras on. We did. Put so, them we can, on. so we can take them off for you yeah. guys. Yeah. But we still have our jammies, we still have our bed hair. Mm. Although from the front, I think my bed hair kind of looks normal yeah got a bit of a flat spot happening in the oh, back yes. i can feel that yes yeah. how about me how's my flat spot looking oh look at me yeah a little bit flat yeah just to prove to everybody yeah there it is you got it yeah okay cool it, mine's really got like dark hasn't it yeah yes it has it's my my Your dark flat spot dark flat spot mm. my sleepy spot mm. so there you go for everyone who thinks we just wake up looking <laughs> fabulous i know no, a little bit of preparation goes into our preparation. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So today we're making my trifle, uh, and this is what people ask me to bring. You know, when you bring something to a gathering, people say, "Can you bring your trifle?" And I say, "Sure." Yeah. So saying that though, it has many variations. Oh yeah. So we variate it. Well, we when I say we. I mean, Sarah, we? Uh, variates it to the person's tastes mm. and requirements. Yeah. So, um, for instance, uh, what was it? The jelly that my number one didn't like so much one year, so we made you put strawberries or something in instead of yeah, the I jelly. Put something else in. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so we're gonna and the colour of jelly berries oh, yes. so you know australia day we just get green and yellow jelly yeah um yeah. people's favorite colors yes if they like particular color yes when we did the green just the green one recently yes i think yes and so today we're doing just the fun one lots well, the, the breakfast know. ones oh yeah breakfast tribal. yes yes breakfast they're putting fruit in it yeah so the, that what makes it a breakfast, breakfast food? Yeah, it's such a um, mm. diverse um, dish. It is, and like everything we make, you know, it's to it's, taste. Oh, yeah, that's right. So what are you trying to do there, sister? Well, we've got a jelly. No, we I... did actually make here some we prepared earlier. Oh, yeah, that's right. But we thought, well, we'll make one. So we can show you guys how yeah, to make how jelly. how to make jelly. Right. That's right. But, but this one's got a bit of age to it. It seems it might have. Absorbed a little bit of moisture, which look at the end of the day doesn't matter because we're about to pour water all over it. That's right. Mm. Wonder, if, wonder if there's a use by date on that one. Do oh. they have use by dates, jelly? Yep. Oh, only oh. this year. Only this year. January. Oh, for goodness sakes. Still, still good. good. Yeah, still. I mean, it's jelly. It's yeah. sugar and gelatin with a bit of colour. Right. You no. Know? Mm. All right, so we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Oh, it's a block it's of jelly. I wonder if it'll that. still. It will. You know, like with cement, once you've mixed it, that's oh. it. Chemical reaction has occurred. You can't, you can't grind it down. Yes. And re remake it. So but this will be exciting. Well, it'll be interesting to see. This is our jelly. Yeah. <laughs> just do that for effect. For effect, excellent yeah. effect. So. When I'm making jelly for trifles, I I always put um, about 50 mils less water. Now look, I know we're measuring. Yeah. So a bit strange, yeah. but the reason I do that is because you just want it that little bit firmer, I think, for a trifle. So only 50 mils less doesn't make a lot of difference. Tell the story about um, the time that it had 200 oh, mils less. So, yes. Yeah, so, one of my beautiful daughters um, made jelly once because I was still working. I needed it, blah, blah, blah. And 
So she read the instructions because she is an instruction reader. Mm. That's her that's her way. So she read it, you know, add two hundred and fifty mils of hot water to dissolve. Mm. She missed the next step that said add another two hundred is mils. But then also she took into account your instruction about oh, adding that's fifty right. mils less. Fifty mils less, so I think it had about two hundred. Yes. Uh, so oh it was delicious though. Mm. And especially putting it in the trifle with all those other flavours. That was very very firm, mm. but uh, yeah. So it was actually it was it was actually delicious. Mm. But yeah, proper firm. So we did actually. I think we might have. I don't know if we cut it up or, but we just did much smaller. Yes, portions right, of right. jelly. Yeah, mm. yeah. So how's, how's that, that looking? Oh, yeah, that's looking awesome. Awesome. It's, it's all broken down. Yeah. And... So look what. Well, I thought I remembered everything today. Oh, yes. So most jellies are, you know, add 250 mils to dissolve, which mm. I find you do need it. I've tried dissolving it in less. It's just too hard. So 250 mils and then usually it's add another 200 mils. Um, can you see that? I can. So up to 400. Oh, yeah. Yep. Around about, see. So, Yeah. And you use cold, cold water out of the fridge. I do use cold, cold water because I these are my jelly containers. Um, I don't want to, you know, damage the plastic. That's right. So I use cold, 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 cold water. Just to bring the temperature down. It's already dissolved. All you've got to do now is put it in the container and uh, pop it in the fridge. And if you're running late, just need about four hours. But usually... I just make it the night before because... But do you know what? Oh. You know yesterday when I was at the shops buying the jelly and I called you and I said, um, we'll just get some that's already made. And you said, oh, can you do that? Mm. Well, I'm sure. Now, next time you go to the shops, you're going to see this. Yeah. Right above your packets of crystals. Yeah. The pre-made ones. No. Pre-made. The little pack of four. So you know the ones that normally come with the fruit oh, in yes, it? like the kids' snacks. These are just jelly, though. I had because I picked one up and had a look, and I thought, well, there you go. Mm. So if you're running really, really late, just grab a couple of those. Wow. So they're above the boxes of crystal jelly. Yeah, mm. so, of course, I took my sister's word that this was dissolved properly and added the cold water. So I'm just still stirring it a bit. Oh, stop it, it's dissolved. <laughs> Nearly. So I, I think, you know, you are best dissolving it properly, but you know, each to their own. So uh, everybody, everybody does. Oh, we're making like a really big mess. You know why that is? It's because you're paying out. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Thanks. Ha ha ha. Okay. So there, yeah, I pop it in those. They're just those Tupperware everyday bowls, which I've got a few generations of. I think we used one of these. Are the new? I'll see these. The old ones we probably can't see, but they've got the. The line in the middle, and I think these are the new ones. I don't know. Maybe. They're sure the perfect a, size. I'm sure there's another, um, what do they call them, Hong Kong bags or whatever? Um, uh, you know, the blanket bags that you buy for $2. I'm sure there's another one of those hidden somewhere in this house with the other generations in between. Well, okay, let me explain. So, you know, you buy addiction much. Over the years, you've got to go to the parties because your friend needs her first big sale, blah, blah, blah. And then your use of Tupperware pieces changes with your children. So, you know, we've got the little containers that we used to pop their yogurt in or their little, you know, cut up small strawberries or something like that. Mm. And then, anyway... I think that your Tupperware requirements change, and I know that there's going to be people listening that say, absolutely. There's going to be other people that say, mm. you have an issue. I do. I do. Mel Melinda actually banned me from Tupperware parties for a while, so mm. I had to s secretly sneak off to them, and mm. I couldn't say. Like that chopper, our favourite chopper. Our favourite, that's true. See, now that's from the last one I went to. Mm. And I was just thinking, you know, you were saying, you do go when you get to that age and everyone's trying to you know make their sting on life and your friends mm. has got into top so you have to go and you know you're getting old when you start going to your friends children's oh. tupperware parties and that's what that one was yes it was um my friend's son's girlfriend, girlfriend. you know he was 20 nothing yeah starting off in a tupperware career, career. that's right 
So, so um, yes, friends of ours don't have any more children. Don't have children because you have to go to more halfway parties. Because you know what's going to happen next. What? We're going to be going to the grandchildren's oh, halfway parties. Well, you know, we'll need a new spatula or something. We'll probably we probably will. We probably will. Oh, oh, no, no, just wait. Oh. So I just wanted to also show when I was doing <laughs> shopping yesterday for our mm-hmm. trifle. Because I don't do the shopping for the trifle normally. So sister had said, oh, can you pick up a sponge? Yeah, it can't be that hard, right? So uh, I'm not much of a grocery shopper. I've given that little task away to my beautiful husband. Well, I, didn't, I didn't actually have it in the first place with him, but that's okay. Um, so, wonderful man. Um, so I went into the shop thinking, I can do this. So I go to the bakery section, you know, down the back next to your milk. And um, there's nothing there. So I start thinking, I saw some cupcakes. I'm thinking surely we could chop them up. And then I thought, no, wait a minute, because there's a bakery right next door to the Woolies I went to. So I've called sister and said, is there anything else you want? As I'm walking back out, I see the bread section. I'm like flashing back to the olden days when I used to do this. I'm sure they have pre-packed cakes there. Mm. I've turned into the aisle. I'm going to keep. And it was like a spotlight on the only sponge cake there. But wait, there's more. Da 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 da. One dollar. One dollar. So good. Oh, it was meant to be. And especially. Uh, and it's only used by today. Yeah, it's not even out of today. It's fresh as. Yeah, it's not even growing. Oh my god, we're only going to chop any multi bits off. Nah, sweet. It's unreal. And you can. Sometimes when I've not been able to get my hands on a sponge, you know, I'm a working mum. I don't have time to be making cakes, I'm making custard, all of that. Mm. All I do is make the jelly. Um, but I have had to, on occasion, buy a cake mix in a packet and make it. Oh, and wow. I, so you can do that too. Uh, but, you know, I try not to. No. And so I just, so this is just a double sponge. You can see there. See, da da I just cut that into, you know, those those things. Um, thick slices, yeah. one might say. And then here, you know, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, some bits a little. And I did also ask this sister the other, is. last night, oh. what we were making the jellies. Oh. Have you ever thought about pouring the liquid jelly onto the sponge and letting it set like that? And sister's reply was, she's tried that before, mm. but it's quite uh, nice with the different textures. So you've got the sponge and then you've got the chewy, chewy or, you know, jelly. And so it depends. Mm. Again, if you sort of want to prepare most of it, if you're taking it to whatever the next day, you could probably do that. It's really individual taste mm. but this is the way we do it mm. okay cool mm-hmm. that's right so i just toss a few in there a layer one might say oh, yeah half your cake yeah it, you know now and then i get the jellies now today we've got um i love the blue jelly because oh, so good. it looks fabulous mm. So I thought, actually, sorry, I got you to pull that over. Yeah, you can have a red yeah. and red and one. And port wine. I love the port wine mm. because it's nice and rich. It's strawberry, raspberry, whatever. Mm. Lemonade, you have all sorts of things these days. Um, but I always have at least a port wine and a blue because mm. it looks awesome. They're delicious. And then I very strategically scoop it out now something i do do okay i do make an effort so obviously not with the scoops but i try and put Ooh. on the first layer i do try and put um oh, do you like it? yeah because yeah. it looks it looks so cool good. yeah when you can see the jelly bits around the edge yes so you know again just a little sucky sucky you know, get on there Anything. and you know it sort of sticks bit that and then another bit here. Yeah. Do that. Oh. You may be missing a couple of blues. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to drop them all a bit. I'm waiting for you to get out of the way. So it's, so there you go, that looks nice. It's just a patch there too. I'll put a little blue in. Put a little right. blue. Oh, there we go. 
Mm. Oh, he's a look. So you just kind of look cool. Really. And then just go like that. Oh, the rest? Yeah. Okay. Go like that. This is actually the first time I've ever made it with my sister, so. Yeah. I'm learning yeah. as we go. Look at that. Nice, nice. Make a layer. Thin. Custard. I use two litres. This is a decent sized bowl. I don't know if it says how big it is. It probably does because it's Pyrex. Mm, probably. No. Don't know where I can see it anyway. But anyway, it's enough that it holds a double sponge, four jellies, and two litres of custard. So, a little bit of that. Right. About half. I almost bought you a box of powdered custard to leave in your cupboard. And then I just laughed and walked away. And the problem with that is, as I've mentioned before, we can't have things like that in the cupboard. Yeah. Because it won't sit there until I need it next. Yeah. It will be eaten. Be eaten. Yeah. I'll make it in the microwave if I have to. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, a bit more cake. Do you get on to like that? that? And do you know, honestly, like when you make it like this, it is so quick and easy. And look, if I had time, maybe I wouldn't do those other things. But but I don't, so. Yeah, have you tried? Because the other thing people are going to be oh. saying, when do you put the brandy in? When yes. do you put the sherry in? Whatever. Do you know, I didn't even know that Trifle was made with alcohol. Yeah, okay. It was about 252 years ago. Yeah. I was at a party at Kerry's. Mm. And you know, he had those friends, oh, I'm not sure if they were seven, seven day Adventists or some, some kind of religion. Mm. And I said to her, have you tried my jelly? And she said, oh, no, I don't, I don't um, have alcohol. Imbibe. What is that? What? That means, like, I think that means partake in alcohol oh, consumption. Oh, right. So, where's my other bowl? Here. Okay. You can do the blue this time. Okay. So I said, oh, there's no alcohol in it. Mm. Should have seen her go after that. Yes. Because the trifle's always been for the kids and everyone. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've never done that. I've tried the jam scrolls. That's another traditional. Because that looks quite pretty too, around the edges, the it jam does. scroll type. It looks it's far nice. too traditional for me. Yeah, it's just too neat. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. It's like you put effort into it. And that's just sometimes. Oh, excuse me. I... Oh, no, it's not. I mean, yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's. I've mastered it down to you this, have, you, uh, have. you know, simple way of doing it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it used to take me a lot longer. But when you think, can we see ourselves? Have you got oh, mouse? whoopsie, yeah, I've got mouse. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry for concentrating. Yeah. There you go, that's lovely. And it does look really cool when you get um, different jellies. I, I did say to my sister, just, you know, um... As, as long as there's one blue and one port wine, you know, it doesn't matter what else, grab a green, yellow, whatever, but oh. at least one blue and one port wine. <laughs> so we've got two blues and two port wines, which, well, you, you know, know what I'm like in the shopping, I get a bit distracted, I was under yeah. pressure. There were, there were people and... Yeah, oh my God, you had to navigate a shopping centre. I know. Like normal people. Yeah, oh no, it was hideous. So yeah, another layer. And... Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Um, you know what you haven't said yet this cooking episode? Which One, I two, three. I didn't notice how much I said that until my sister pointed it out. And one, two, three. <laughs> so apparently I say that. So uh, I'll try. Everybody else has noticed as well. Have they? They have, I'm sure. I didn't even know I said it. Anyway, poppity pop, cover that up. Doesn't matter if there's a little bit poking through. See, I never used to have any poking through. Oh, really? No. So, yeah. But basically, there's a little bit left over, which is my like, teeny, teeny, tiny bit, about cool. a finger. Doesn't matter. Sometimes it fits. Depends on how you put it in. Awesome, that box. <laughs> but it looks cool, right? It looks really cool when there's different colours. <laughs> um, but that looks awesome also. Right. And it tastes, it'll taste delish. It will. And then we always just put a something on top. Mm. So when we made it the other weekend for the birthday, um, we did we smashed up a couple of flakes, you know, the, mm. the chocolate bar. Um, yeah, just crunch the the buggers out of them. Yep. Still in the packet. Then you just open the packet, pour it on, mm. and then with Maltesers we made the birthday number. Mm. So. 
That looked awesome. It did look so awesome. Mm. Yeah. But today we've got a block of chocolate, which I think Melinda wants to grate because there's a competition there. What are we going to win? A golden ticket? Maybe. But get in the game. Supporting the next generation of women in sport. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Cool. Cadbury has partnered. Okay, we don't oh. I'm sorry. I just I, don't care. Okay. Well. Um, yeah. But, you know, the Willy Wonka is on at the theatre. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I thought we might have won a golden ticket. All right. I'm just going to give this a whirl. I think, yeah. You know, people would need different equipment. Oh yeah, because you've got to lay a flat lay down for it. Do, do you want to make it a little bit smaller? No, it's the fun that. You never get a hand cream here to do on that. There are a better chance of getting a grated knuckle. Though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. So I'm not sure how that sound's going to come out on our video. Hopefully not as cheap as it sounds right now. But awesome. um, to grade all of that, look what you get. Well. Why did you buy a block? Well, I don't well, know. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, though. right. That, because of that, that's why I bought it. Yeah. Because right, I knew it was going to look really good. That actually looks... Oh, because it's all just stuck up there. That's why it's not on the breadboard. Yeah. Nice. See, I had that. I had that envisaged. Oh, there's a little bit that's too big. Hang on. I'll just get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh! I breathed. Make sure you don't breathe the corona on it. Oh my god. So funny. I've always been a bit of a germaphobe anyway, even before the COVID. And um, so I saw this post on Facebook that I had to share. Mm. And it said, um, you know, I washed my hands before COVID. Something like I'm a trendsetter. I actually washed oh, my yes. hands before COVID. Yeah. I thought that was funny. But I, I've awesome. always wondered why, and now it's so much more obvious. You know when you have a birthday and you put your candles and things on mm. and then the birthday person gets to blow their spit oh, all over the cake yes. that everyone gets to eat. Mm, yes. Yummy, yum. Yummy, so, yum. Yeah, so uh, I, I think that's hilarious and gross. Mm. But, um, yeah. yeah. Don't forget we have to make it a breakfast. Oh, yeah, so we need some blueberries. We've got some blueberries with antioxidants for you each day. Yeah. So... Not only is it a delicious breakfast, it's also healthy. Nutritious. Yes. Delicious and nutritious. Yes. There we go. Do I put them around the outside, you do you think? You put them wherever you like. Are you sure you're going to be okay with that? Yep. Do you want to do it? No. I don't care. It won't bother me. It won't bother me. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? It is funny. And I'm you're watching me. Stop watching me. So, um... What else did we want to talk about? Did you want to measure the distance between each no, other? No, I don't. Goodness sakes. How about if I put a Maltese in oh, between yeah, each other? Because that really, by the time we eat this, it's going to be brunch. So. And you know what I should have done? I should have bought the dark chocolate Maltesers because that dark chocolate is oh, also yeah. quite, quite good for you, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's really good for you. Yes. It's like red wine is really good. Yes. We know this stuff. We know. Mm. So, yeah, we're just leaving the lovely gap. Except that one's got a bit of jelly in the way, but that's yeah. okay. Oh, is it my fault? So, I don't normally, um, you know, take this long to decorate because I, I just smash flakes or. What else have we put on top before? We've put other things. Um, I don't know. Whatever you want, honestly. It's um, just go like that. Do, do whatever you like. It's, it's your. I don't. I, you know, I won't mind. You do whatever you like. Like that. Yeah. All right. Because it's you know it's a random. Um, it's not the neat one. It's not the neat version. Is that enough blueberries? Or do you want me to put them all on? We're going to put them on. Yeah, let's. All right. Is that, should we save some Maltesers for yeah. later? Oh, yeah, we better, yeah. <laughs> for dessert. Yes. Mm. After we have mm. our breakfast. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So, 
I'd love to know how much that weighs. Yes. Do you have some of those scales that you can put? I, th I don't think like, they go that heavy. Oh, I really? Do you know what? I think I could use the, the bathroom scales. Oh, you know? let's do that. Well, actually, if you, if you think about it. Yeah. It's two litres of custard, so there's a couple mm. of kilos. Mm. And Boris just taking some jelly, so, yeah. you know. Oh, just, just oh, don't, uh, yep, pop her on as well as is. We should have weighed the dish before. Mm. Oh. 5.7 kilos. 5.7 <laughs> kilos. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'll see if you can see the beautiful side. Well, the oh, I'll, I'll, I'll move the oh, yeah. um, and next screen. I'll move it a bit closer to you. I'll just do a bit of that. So see. Oh, oops. So pretty. <gasps> look it at that. Just look. Oh, hang on. Where am I going? No, too far over there. there you oh, go. there we are. I got it. So yummy yum yums. There you go. Oh, nice. Breakfast trifle. <clears throat> and look, that'll easily feed a family of three or four. Four and a half, <laughs> you know. <laughs> No, that's a perfect dessert, Yeah, you know, for, look, honestly, you know, everybody loves it. Mm. For a normal gathering, yeah. it's, you know, really it's probably enough 20 people. Yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we, we pretty much, oh no, we didn't quite polish it off with 12 people the other weekend. No, that's right. So, you know, easy, easy 15 serves. You know what else is? it's really good for? Because... You know, if you're at a party and there's drinking happening, mm. um, nobody really gets into the desserts when you're having a drink and a barbie. So generally afterwards when you're getting that little bit of, I don't know, I don't know something to eat now. Yes. So good. So good. And, you know, it's got that sponge, which I'm sure would help absorb oh, that's right. some of the alcohol. Yeah. Oh, it's just For amazing. Sure. It's an amazing dessert. Also, for the next morning, hangover trifle. Oh, yeah. That's what it gets changed to the next morning. Mm, hangover trifle. Yeah, yeah. Today oh. it's breakfast trifle. I don't think we've ever actually had it as... Oh, we did. Have it as the hangover. No. Well, yeah, I guess usually when it is breakfast, yeah. it's hangover, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> I don't Lunch. think we've had, yeah, like sober breakfast trifle. No, no. It's, it's, it's only ever been hangover. Yes. Yeah, so anyway. That's how versatile it is. It's so the most versatile. excellent dessert. Yeah. Or... Food, really? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's 27 oh, minutes. Okay, can yeah, we yeah. wrap this up? All right. Uh, yeah, have a crack, honestly. So easy, so yummy. And, um, you know, any occasion. Because you can, you can change your jelly colours. Mm. Oh, even that feels good. I've had it on for 27 minutes. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oopsie, that bit Now, shall we have a cheers with the custard? Oh, look, why not? Like just a bit of a dim bag pandering it. Because mm. we didn't even we didn't even have anything. So like we're up and we're making try for a few people. Cheers. Mm. With the leftover custard. Yeah, that's pretty yum. Mm. Don't you know, and don't stress, it's not the first thing in our bellies today. We have had a couple of black coffees mm. already. So Oh. Uh, that's pretty, so pretty good, good, isn't it? That's our um dessert coffee. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've got a custard smile happening. Mm. Actually, I've got a joke about that. Okay, do, you want, do you want to finish with a joke? Yeah. So, a man takes his car to the mechanic to get service. Yes. Um, the mechanic says, well, I'll drop you around the shops, shopping centre while we're fixing your car. The bloke says, that'd be great. Give you a call when it's ready. Super. Man's at the shops, having a look around the shops, having something to eat. Mechanic rings, says, right, mate, ready to come and pick you up. Well, come back to the mechanic shop, car's ready. So he walks back in. The mechanic says, looks like a blind seal, mate. The bloke says, oh, no, no, just a bit of cream bun. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Or week <laughs> or, or whatever. Yeah, Enjoy yeah. your day and your cream buns. Mm. And the trifle. Peace out. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Oh, yeah. Like, yes. follow, subscribe. Tell your friends. And we'll talk to you. You've got the remote, don't forget. Oh, yeah, right. I've got to do that bit. Yep. Sorry. Okay. It's not as spontaneous. I can only do one with side. Yeah. So maybe I'm going to make that your job to start pressing stop. Okay, I'm pressing okay. stop. You ready? Bye. Oh, I love this.